All right, this is gonna be the semifinals match for the Ada Cougars. We're super excited for this match. Of course, this determines if we go to finals or not. Uh, we're, we're playing Heritage Hall today uh, for our semifinals matchup. And after this will be either, uh, I think it's Edmund Memorial Varsity. I think that's who we'll go against if, uh, if we make it past this round of playoffs. Yeah. Hmm. This is going to be a tough match. Uh, both teams have, like, incredible players. So That's right. It's going to be close for sure. Um, as far as we know, two of the players on Heritage Hall are uh, Grand Champ. Actually, no. Correction. They are. There's two Champ 3s, so almost Grand Champ. And then, of course, Ada Cougars has a uh, two Grand Champs and a Champ. So definitely a pretty good matchup. Uh, it's going to be a dogfight out there. Um, as you can see, we're already a minute in, and there has not been a single goal. So mm. both teams really, really fighting for this victory today. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, maybe if you guys were paying attention to the bracket, uh, the bracket was going to be us versus Edmund Memorial Varsity today. And uh, in the rules, you can't really have the same school go against each other because if they would have beat us in the semifinals, then Varsity and JV and Memorial would have played against each other in the state uh, finals. And of course, you just really can't have that happen. So that's why we're playing uh, Heritage Hall today to uh, make sure that doesn't happen. And it looks like we're getting our first goal from Tanner at 3 minutes and 11 seconds. Yep, it's a. It uh I mean, it was a lot of back and forth between the ball on each team and eventually just stuck it in there, you know? That's right. I mean, he uh, that was a pretty good, technically, that was a pretty good shot. Um, we, uh, we love to see that aerial, like the, the uh, mechanics and stuff. Um, Tanner is just a really good player. Uh, it looks like Jackie's going to take the ball and he's just going to... Pass it over. Looks like this first match is just going to be a lot of back and forth between uh, both teams. I mean, like we said, very close like matchups. Yeah, very close ranks and skill sets here in these uh, on the both these teams. Looks like Ben's going to take the ball there, but they're going to take it from him. But Jackie's up there ready to just take it out of the air. And then it's back to them and then back to Tanner. So, yeah, a lot of back and forth. Should be the one of those matches that just keep you on your toes. Yeah, as there is uh, three minutes gone from the match, two minutes left. Uh, only one goal from the Ada Cougars. And, uh, I mean, as of now, this is a really, really close game, as we've been saying. Man, Ben gets a really good hit there, sending it down the field. Not really able to make anything happen of it, but uh, what a great hit from Ben. Though. It's going to be sent to Tanner. Tanner's going to send it to the right side of the field. He's going to go again. Ben has a chance to score here. Oh, they saved it. Just in time to intercept. That would have been right in the goal if they didn't. Looks like Tanner's going to go up there, kind of keep the pressure on him. He's going to go up to Jackie. Man, Jackie almost with him, uh, had a goal there. But here's a tall. Looks like our net is open. But Ben is able to get rotated around and save the ball. Tanner's going to get a pretty good hit. It's going to get passed up by two defenders. Tanner has an open net, and he's going to wow. get the second goal of the first game with 47 seconds left. Man, what an amazing hit. He sends it downfield. One defender misses it. The second defender misses it. And then Tanner is able to take advantage of that open net, and he gets the goal. Very nice open goal for Tanner. Man, this whole season, like we've been talking about, these high-level players, 
uh, Tanner and Jackie both are grand champs, and Ben is working his way up to even a high champ level. Um, we really see some really good plays with some good passes, some good offensive plays. We have yet to really see any cool defensive plays or good defensive plays, uh, but Heritage Hall might put us in some pickles there, so we'll really see how our defense is uh, going to work its way out. Looks like we are able to defend that ball. Four seconds left, three seconds, two seconds. That is going to be game one, two to zero, as the ball touches the ground there. It's going to finish up. Man, what an amazing match from our Ada Cougars. Played really, really well defensively and especially offensively. We love to see it. Yeah, here with our, uh, our commentators, I'm Josh, and this is Joe. Mm -hmm. And, uh, man, we're really excited for this uh, – this semifinals game uh, as we're taking the first game as a win and um, if we win this game we're gonna go to state so unfortunately this semester is not the state uh, that we will go like in person this is just only at home so yeah we're still excited though so let's get into the second match And we're going to get the first goal of our second game. Looks like Ben got a pretty good hit. He goes for a little pass there. I think the defenders get a little messed up there and is able to get a goal. Yeah. They scored one goal and we just evened it out immediately. Right. Neck and neck game, like we've been saying. Jackie's going to send it down the field. And then one of their uh, defenders is just going to send it right back over towards our net, but Ben was there to get it. And has a chance to get a score here. Unfortunately, not able to connect off the ball there. Jackie's kind of playing the ball slowly on our side of the field. Trying to get the ball down, unfortunately he's not able to, and he gets blown up in the process. Tanner gets a demo, he's got a chance to score and he's able to do it. That's going to be the second goal of the second game. Man, he really played with that ball, gets the demo there, and the open net, he goes ahead and takes advantage of that open net. Man, he really gets that, it is a really good goal there. Yeah. Cool. It's just, uh, you love to see it. That's right. These high level players and really making some offensive plays, like we've been saying. I feel like both teams seem to play very similarly to each other. They both go back and forth. Almost like almost like a mirror matchup in, in a like, sorts. I don't know how to explain it. It's just they play very similarly. But it looks like Jackie's just going to get our third goal for the Ada Cougars. Man, I don't think we caught that on the actual footage there. But let's see the replay. Man, he just gets kind of a weird bounce hit off the ground. And the defenders just really aren't ready for it. And we're able to take that goal. Looks like Tanner's going to take the kickoff. He's going to have a chance to get a boost here. And get up the wall and the defender comes up and says no. Ben's had a pretty good hit here. Defender makes contact with the ball, saves the ball. Ben's going to try to put it up for a pass, possibly. 
really nice job keeping the pressure on their side. Yeah, we really love to see that um, Ado's really keeping the offense and keeping the ball. And man, just kind of slipped up there. Their defense kind of slipped up, and I think they were trying to be too offensive. See, as Ben goes up for the ball, tries to probably read him for a big hit, and then that uh, the offenders, uh, Heritage Hall, was uh, trying to, I guess, fake him out there, and it really did work out. Yeah. Ada Cougars are still up one, though, so not out of this game just yet. Like we said, these go either way. It's just going to be a really close game. Ben's able to break that pass up. Looks like they're going to go for a pass. It's going to be sent to Tanner. He's going to send it down the field. Edges Hall blocks it and sends it back to our side. Ooh, man, a close goal there. Ada Cougar slipped up a bit. The ball was almost in our goal, but we were able to recover and get the ball out of there. Man, what a what a tight uh, little play there. Yeah, the ball was halfway. Yeah, you can see that uh, the, the color changing on it. That's how you know the ball is about to be a goal. Man, close there. Getting on top of each other a little bit there on their defense. Luckily, their ball was able to get. Oh, and he gets a fourth goal, man. I that was that looked like he was gonna get saved by Heritage Hall. Yeah. Man, he. Let me get this shot here. Wow. wow. Really good shot by Ben. I thought it was gonna get saved by Heritage Hall, but it ended up not being saved. Man, that was that was a really 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 good shot there. Yeah, nice little over the goal shot. Yeah, with a minute remaining, really securing the victory. And wow, right, right as I say it, Heritage Hall comes back three to four. Heritage Hall has one minute to get a goal. Definitely doable. Man, this game is really neck to neck. the net open Tanner's able to get there though just in time that's right you're gonna send it down the field man I think you're gonna try to maybe stall out the game or be really aggressive and try to get a goal I don't really know what the is gonna do here it looks like they're trying to be aggressive and get a goal Ben gets a pretty good hit there Jackie has a possibility to put this ball back it looks like he is gonna stall the ball here Six seconds left as this clock winds down. They have a chance to score. Ada's really trying to keep their defense up. As the ball touches the ground, man, Ada, Ada, Ada Cougars are going to take the second game for a win. Wow, our Ada Cougars are really, really playing good. Yep. Very close match, like we said. But um, our players were able to keep it in the bag, you know, secure that victory. Good yeah. play uh, by the Ada Cougars all around. Almost whiffed on some defenses, but overall yeah. we were able to keep that ball. Yeah, Heritage Hall got a goal right at about a minute, and it was three to four. Definitely could have had a um, had a tie game there and went to overtime, but uh, luckily Ada Cougars were able to secure that. And this is the third game of our semifinal playoffs. As of now, it's two to zero in the matches, and Tanner is going to get a really amazing goal right off wow. the bat. Now let's just see this in the replay. Man, really leaving that net open. Yeah. Tanner's able to take advantage of that though.
Maybe Ben can go up and score this goal. Uh, he just barely missed it. As we've been saying in our past live streams, we do have Smash Bros and Rocket League at the same time. Yeah. Looks like Jack is going to get a second goal. Man, what an amazing match this has been so far. Uh, back to what I was saying, though, we have two games going at the same time. So, uh, as you can hear probably in the background, we have some cheering going on from our Smash Bros. As they are fighting for their semifinals position two to go to the finals. Um, it looks like the... Uh, so. Rocket League and the Smash Bros are playing semifinals at the exact same time right now. Yep. And uh, Thursday will be the Smash Bros uh, State Championship. And then the next Thursday, the next week, will be Rocket League. Yep. So we're really, really excited for uh, hopefully both teams to go to state, which will be the first year that we'll have this many teams going to state because our league team is also going to state. Yep. So I think this will be the first year for all three teams to, uh, to make it to state. Like, it's just a really exciting thing to have all these esports teams getting to make it to state. I think there's a good chance that for all of our teams to win state. You know? Right. Especially our league team. And they're shaped up. They uh, they are really, really tight together. They work as a unit. And, and uh, they're able to make a lot of good plays. And I think they're actually, they're not undefeated. They've only lost one game ever in this entire season. So, man, it's a uh, league team's doing a really good job. And our Smash Bros team. We have really, yeah, yeah. Our varsity team is a very, very good team. Yeah. Uh, man, it's gonna be a great year. Um, but if Rocky League and Smash Bros are ba both gonna be able to make it to state for all three teams to make it to state, I mean, that's just gonna be awesome. So, and uh, man, they, I don't know if they have a runner-up award. I think they might have a runner-up, but yeah. Um, but it'd be sick, but we're, we're really excited, so we'll get back into this uh, game three. Looks like uh, during that quick little information uh, wave, looks like both teams have evened out here on the points. Yeah, three minutes left, two to two right, right now. Little little aerial action from both sides there. Looks like Ben kind of bumped down. Yeah, a little, little team fight, like I like to say. <laughs> Man, we're hearing some excitement outside. Seems like the Smash Bros team is going really, really well right now. Both teams are really, really fighting. Uh, as you can see, the ball is going to be on their side and then our side, back and forth, back and forth. And uh, the offenses on both sides are really, really trying on the defense. It's, both, I mean, we're just, it's back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. As it, it quite literally is a tied game right now, 2-2. Two two. And what an amazing try at that goal there. Two minutes on the clock. Uh, both teams have two goals in this game. Right. Tanner's gonna get a pretty good angle on the ball there. Too soft. And then Jackie's gonna able is gonna be able to get the finisher there as all three defenders are really trying to save Tanner's shot here. Looks like they all kind of crumple up and then no defenders are there to actually save uh, Jackie's ball. And we've seen Jackie time and time again make really, really strategic plays. Very smart guy when it comes to how he places the ball and where he hits the ball. Wow, Jackie, as we're talking about him, gets an amazing save, and he gets another pretty cool read save. Jackie is, is just an all-out amazing player, isn't he? Yeah. Nothing but good stuff for him. That's right, and he is a very uh, new player. Um, ben and Jackie are both new players this season. Tanner's the only one that was actually on the season last year. Um, last year's Rocket League season wasn't great, but uh, this year it's definitely shaping up. And uh, I mean, like, you, like you're seeing right now, we're in the semifinals going to state if we win this game. So yep. uh, I mean, we're definitely doing way better than we were last year. Uh, Jackie and Ben are a great addition to the team. Um, they are doing absolutely, honestly. Very Thank you. 
Man, it's two to three right now. 20 seconds left on the clock. Harrison Hall has a chance to make a play and tie this game up. We don't know if they're going to do it or not, as uh, Ada Cooper's defense is really, really good at the Ten moment. Ten seconds left on the Ten clock. seconds as this clock winds down, and they really are going to have to fight for this uh, third goal. Little pass to the wall. Harrison Hall, it's up in the air. Let's see if they can keep it up and get it turned around. And they're not able to get that third goal. Looks like they almost had that third goal towards the end there, but unfortunately they just couldn't get that. Right, Heritage Hall was really fighting, and they had about 10 seconds to really make a good play. The ball was even at the goal line, yep. and all they had to do was put it in, but our defenders and Ada Cougars um, just knocked that ball away and were able to secure it. Man, at this point, it is three games to four. Um, if we get this fourth and last game, then it will be a sweep. Yeah. So. There is sweep potential on the board. Right. But could go anyway. Yeah, Heritage Hall definitely has a chance to uh, come back and, and really take this game back if they need to. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it looks like we're having a little hold up on our game here. Um, while we wait, we're going to go to a little break. Looks like we are ready to go for our fourth match for the Ada Cougars versus Heritage Hall. Yep. All right, we're going to start off this fourth game with Tanner. And I, uh, we're going to see Heritage Hall probably really fight to get at least one victory on the board so that way they can have a chance. It's like we said, if the, if we win, if Ada Cougars win this match, then it will be game over for yeah. Heritage Hall. Yeah, Heritage Hall is going to be putting up one heck of a fight because they lose this game. I mean, yeah, they're done this for is, the season. This is semifinals. This is semifinals. Very competitive. Yes. Sent back. Tanner's got a chance to defend it. He does. Little defensive block there, sending the ball back. Ben's gonna send it on the ground. They're gonna shoot it and see if they can get a goal here. Jackie's able to get up in the air and defend that ball though. Good save by Ben there. Tanner's got a chance to take it up the wall for a really offensive play. He gets bumped in the process. I don't think he's going to be able to recover it, though. Maybe a possible pass. They don't. They're not able to get it, though. Oh, no. Man, Tanner was up in the air and had a great form, and then he just gets bumped. He wasn't able to actually recover and make that play. Tanner's got a shot of redemption here. The ball's kind of stale. I think he's going to try to send it to Jackie. He gets sent back over to Ben, though. Lots of back and forth. This felt like one very long season. Right. Like we've been saying, these teams are very, very good. Um, so Heritage Hall and uh, Ada Cooper are really fighting for the victory, so it is very back and forth game. Man, almost get a goal, but Ada Coopers are there to save it. That was Ben on the save. Is putting up one big fight here in this last match. Right. Possible last match. Looks like Ben's going to try to go for it. He misses it. Possibly a fake there. I don't know uh, what they were doing. And they just hand it 
it over to Tanner. Tanner's got a chance to make an offensive play here. And he does. Like of course, Jackie. Goal. Yep. Looks like Jackie's going to go ahead and take the goal, though. I think maybe he was just trying to finish it off. I don't think he's actually trying to steal the goal. Yep. Yeah, it looks like he was just trying to finish it. Just trying to make sure he went in there. Right. They secured that one point. That officially puts us in the lead for this last match. Yeah, with uh, basically two minutes left on this last match. It's 1-0. And as you heard the back, oh, and we got a goal. I can't tell if that was an own goal or not. Yeah, this seems to be a recurring theme. We score a goal. That's right. Within the first few seconds Looks of the next Looks like, match. I'm not going to say it was an own goal, but it definitely uh, happened because of Ben being there. Um, you probably heard some excitement in the back. That is our Smash team, and it sounds like they're winning. Uh, we'll definitely go uh, get some information for you in just a little bit. Looks like Ben's going to go up. It's going to get sent down to Tanner. He's got a chance. Ben's got a chance to finish the goal. Tanner's got a chance to... And Ben blocks it. What an amazing little back and forth sequence there. Ben was... I mean, Ben and Tanner had a thing going there, and Ben was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Unfortunately, couldn't get that second goal. Would have been an amazing one, though. He's going to send it down the field. It's going to get passed back. He's going to put it in the middle of the field. Ben's able to get a really nice save there. That was a really quick one. It could have gone in really fast. Yeah. Nicely done. Baby. Yeah. I think he's going to take it kind of slow here. Maybe to stall out the clock. It's going to get sent to our goal. It gets sent up. Looks like this match could go into overtime. If they don't get a goal right here, man, Heritage Hall is there to defend the ball. That could have been the second goal and the finishing goal, but it looks like this game might go to overtime. It's 10 seconds remaining, one to one. This could be crazy here. Man, Heritage Hall is really fighting on their defense there to keep the ball out of the goal. Looks As like we're we, about to go into overtime. If this ball touches the ground, it's overtime. Heritage Hall is really fighting. Looks like they're going to take the overtime though. It is one to one overtime last match. Heritage Hall has a chance to, uh, you know, secure a uh, game so that way they can keep playing and fight and see if they can actually win the semifinals. Uh, sudden death. Man. This is definitely sudden death. If Ada scores, Ada goes to state. This could be crazy. I don't know about you, but my heart is racing. It looks like you're just gonna miss. This game is going to continue to game five. Not the ending I was going to expect from the Ada Cougars, but it happened. It definitely did happen. Heritage Hall gets one game right at the last second. This game's going to go to game five, yep. and uh, Heritage Hall has a chance now to even they get. They do have a chance. They do have, but uh, all we have to do is win one, and we secure it. They have to go flawless these next, uh, next three right. games. Because if they lose one... They lose one, it's out. Yeah. I didn't really expect the Heritage Hall to even get a goal there. Yep. I think Ada Cougars might it have missed. It looked like our defenders were just there ready and waiting. But yeah, I don't know what happened. I really didn't catch it. I'll have to go back on the replay and watch that later. Yep. All right, we're going to have to go into this next game and see what happens. Looks like Ben's going to take the kickoff here. It's going to be a shot all the way to the goal already. Sam's going to try to put it up for a setup there. A little excitement from the Smash Bros team again. Looks like they're doing well. Chance to save here. A weird form in the air, but it definitely was a save there. Looks like Tanner's going to take this one kind of slow. Possibly a pass here.
seems like Heritage Hall is really, really fighting for this victory. As uh, a minute and 15 seconds has already elapsed. Really fighting offensively to get the ball in the goal and maybe even secure this game. Looks like Heritage Ball is going to get a goal. Ben, I think, tried to uh, save the ball a little too hard and kind of flung himself into the goal as we see in this replay here. He kind of just, uh, I don't know, he, I don't think he read the, the goal right. So, I mean, uh, it's all right, though. It's only 1-0, to three minutes left. Anything can happen at this point. Players to be playing a little more offensively, trying to keep the pressure on the Ada Cougars. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm not actually sure what's going on if they're losing or winning. But I do hope uh, for sure that they're winning. So it sounds like some, some crazy stuff's going on. Once we get that information for you, we'll definitely let you know. Yeah, the Smash Team uh, game will be posted at about the same time this game gets posted. Uh, like we said in the previous videos, we are actually going live. So you're going to see this later once it's actually uh, uploaded because we don't want to uh, you know, risk sucking up internet and bandwidth but it looks like Tanner had a hard time getting over to the goal it looks like he just couldn't get there and he was able to uh, miss the goal and uh, Harris was able to get a goal there second goal two to zero minute 46 seconds left for a Cougars to possibly get two goals I don't know about you Joe but uh, it's kind of weird seeing the Ada Cougars not even having a goal at this point Look at that, they get a third goal. It's kind of weird to see AP not having any goals at this point in the game. I don't know what's going on if the nerves got to them, maybe they're slipping up a little bit. Um, we do have three games on them, but it's just kind of weird to be seeing Ada Cougar is kind of slipping up like this and not being able to get a goal in the first, you know, I guess this is almost three minutes and 30 seconds in the game, so. It's kind of interesting to see him not having a goal. So everybody's kind of piling on each other. Yeah, yeah a little dog fight. Possible goal in the process here. Almost gets a double tap. He gets cut off by Harrison's Hall defenders. Tanner being really aggressive to defend that ball and get it away. He's going to go for the ball. He doesn't have any boost, so he can't really make the play, but really good hit by Tanner getting it on the uh, other side of the field. Jackie's going to take this one slow. He's going to go up in the air. Not quite going to get a goal, but definitely a good setup. Heritage Hall defenders are there to break that uh, setup and pass up. There. It's like Heritage Hall seems to be playing a little more defensively compared to how they were earlier in this match. Yes, very. And as the clock winds down, like we've been saying, anything can happen in this game. Looks like Tanner's going to go ahead and get a really nice offensive goal, though, right at the end. Kind of strange to see that, but also cool to see it. 
If only we could have seen that uh, in the uh, previous bits of the game. Man, this is going to go to game six as we uh, as we get into it. But, man, playoff game, semifinals, yep. this is back and forth. Uh, potential sweep from us didn't actually happen. So, I mean, it is, it's two to three now, right? Yep. Yeah. So, uh, like we said, anything can happen. And, uh, and we're seeing it right here. So yep. More just an testament to this match could have gone anywhere. I mean, both players about evenly matched. Both teams, I should say. You know, could go either way. It's just one of those games that will keep you on your uh, toes. Yeah, I mean, we did say that at the beginning, and this is definitely holding true. Um, man, it's just kind of weird to see our uh, defense slipping up and not being able to make those connections and defend the ball. Um, also, our offense is not connecting up as well. So it's kind of weird to see that. But uh, as we're waiting on this next game, we'll go ahead and, and uh, head to an intermission. As we hop into this, uh, I guess this is going to be the sixth game. Receiving some pretty breaking news at the moment, and uh, and it sounds like Smash Bros. has lost the semifinals, and uh, they will not be going to Edmond this Saturday, this Thursday, and playing the state finals. Very really hard. Yeah, very heartbreaking to be hearing that right now. Um, but I hope Rocket League will be able to win this game, and uh, I mean, of course it's not actually in person but we do have a state final even though that it's at home and it's still a big deal but it's even a more of a big deal that uh, Super Smash Bros did not make it to state uh, because it is in person but it is super sad to be hearing that right now with all the uproar we thought a lot of great stuff was going on but unfortunately it's really lost yeah big shock you know, I was fairly confident that Smash would end up at least competing for state but Things happen, so. That's right. Uh, we were all like ready, and we were all ready to go to Thursday, and you know, once you are Eddie Cooper's on, and we were already prepared to even just leave. Like we were already getting ready to go, but uh, unfortunately, it's not happening. So it's pretty sad. Our coach is pretty upset about it. And so, man, uh, wow. we really uh, hope like this game goes well, and we can make it at least in Rocket League and League Two State. Our Eric Cooper's playing way more defensively than we did last game, as it is two minutes left, um, and there still has not been any goals. Um, at this point of the match, one goal can really make the difference. So, as our Eric Cooper's and Heritage Hall plays very offensively, we're, we're really uh, we're waiting and hoping to see a goal for Eric Cooper's soon. Minute 40 left on the clock, no goals on either team. 
Back and forth. And there we go. We get the first goal of the sixth game. Looks like the defender on here, Jatal, which kind of play it slow and uh, maybe get it around. But Tanner was able to get up in the air and take that ball away. Just send it right over. That's right. And then, of course, there was nobody in the actual goal to save the ball. But really, really good aggressive play from Tanner. And a really smart play, if, if anything. And they almost get a goal and it goes in. Wow. Man, I really thought Ben missing that goal was going to not have a goal. Man, a minute 17, as we were just saying, there was no goals. That ball almost looked like it was out. Of course, yeah. it was rolled right. The defenders almost had it. Man, we're really seeing this game shape up. Minute 17, still plenty of time for Heritage Hall to uh, get two goals in. Yeah. But hopefully, our Ada Cougars def defense will uh, stay on top of it. A little shot up to the top. Jackie's being pretty uh, aggressive there. A chance for Ben to get a hit there. It doesn't happen there. Tanner's going to almost redirect it into our goal. Luckily, Jackie was there to save the ball. A little pinch action going on there. So Jackie just should be waiting for the ball there. We're seeing Jackie play a little differently than we usually do. He's kind of more of a ball chaser being way more aggressive than usually being really passive and slow with the ball. Definitely being wow. way chasing. Man, that was an amazing, not really even a that save. Was a, that was a good shot on goal. Yes, oh, 21 seconds and they own goal. Man, that's unfortunate to see that. 21 seconds, Heritage Hall could make a goal here and put us into overtime. And that was Tanner on the own goal. I hate to see it, 21 seconds, yes. Like we said, like Joe said, there is definitely time for one goal to be happening. Hopefully our defense and maybe even just our offense alone will keep them away from even having a chance to score. Yep. My heart is racing. My heart is definitely racing right now as this clock winds down and this could decide the finals for the Ada Cougars. And they get a shot! And they're able to save it! Oh my and they're able to save it! It's going to secure the game for State! Oh wow! Oh. My lordy lord. And they're able. What an amazing finish from our Ada Cougars. Wow. The ball was literally one inch from the goal line. They were able to get behind the ball and save the ball. Man, good, there was good defense by Ben there. Yeah, that, that was, was that was definitely an amazing play, and that's gonna show up on a highlight reel for sure. Yeah, that was Man, wow. there was two seconds left. All Heritage Hall had to do was just tap that ball in there mm -hmm. and secure the goal, man! Wow, what a that, crazy ending! That last game was a uh, was a little slow up towards like till the end. Yeah, and two it, minutes. It was a lot of back and forth, and that this just means that the Ada Cougars are playing for state. That so. yeah, we are gonna go to state against the Edmond Memorial Varsity team. Of course, like we've been saying, it's not in person; it's just at home. Mm -hmm. But next semester will be in person. Um, yeah. We don't know if we're gonna be live streaming it or not. But we definitely will record it, and it's probably going to be on an official state live stream. So we'll definitely have that live stream on the YouTube channel for you guys to go watch whenever it, uh, whenever it happens. Yep. So um, I don't know. Do you want to get an interview from a player? I mean, I think we, we should. should. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and get a player in here, and we're going to interview them and see what they th uh, thought about the game. Just Good. give us one moment.
Sorry about that. We were muted on the mic, but that last you were the one that had that last minute save. I couldn't even tell what was going on there. It was nutty. Jackie said from his point of view, it looks like I just absolutely whiffed. I did not. Tanner came flying out of nowhere, bumped me, but I was able to clutch up and get the last minute save and touch the ground. Right. There was two seconds left on the clock. The ball was a hair from being an actual goal and making it an overtime goal. Listen, my adrenaline does not run that long, and I had to get the last bit bit of it out of my system, and it was able to clutch up the win for oh, us. Yeah. So this is Chicken Lamp, uh, what is it, 72? 67. 67, Chicken Lamp 67. Yeah, so when you see him out on the court, um, this is him. So what an amazing finish of the game. Uh, I was really worried on that, that game right before it. I was like, what happened to our defense? Yeah, so. our morale was kind of dropping. I could hear Tanner sighing a lot. He was going, <sighs> Yeah. So, but we were able to get the morale up that last game, get good comms, and just play a solid match. And to that, we deserve the dub. Yeah, what an amazing ending, like we've been saying. So, uh, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and sign off this live stream. Thank you for the interview. Uh, what an amazing game. We're going to go to state, and uh, it's, it's against Edmond Memorial Varsity. Tough match, tougher than we've seen today. Probably the toughest match in the state because, I mean, yeah, it's state. So, technically, we're the second best Rocket League Second team best in, in the state. state. That's crazy. And possibly could be first. So we're definitely uh, we're definitely excited to see it. So we're gonna go ahead and sign this live stream off. See you guys later. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up. It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror.